Welcome to zero to pro training.com. Primary key concept. All database tables require a key. Key enables identifying of one particular row in a table. It is usually created on one column of a table. This way, the database management system will now guarantee that the key column will contain a unique value in each row. All relational databases offer this feature. Let's say there is a table employee that has a column ID which is declared as a key column. And there is another column called name that has no key declare on it. What would the key mean in practice? If you try putting the same value twice in this column, the database management system would not allow it. The data type of a key column could be any number, text, or date. The concept remains the same. The values will not repeat. A column does not have any key on it by default and hence all columns are non-unique unless a key is created on them. And that is the case with name column. The name column could have repeating values in it. There could be two bill gates in this table. But both will have different IDs. In fact, most columns in a table will not require any key. For example, it does not make sense to declare name column as a unique column. There could always be two people with the same name. The same is true for the phone columns. In every table, one column should be declared as a key so the record should be uniquely identified. Such column which is used for the purpose of uniquely identifying records is called primary key column. Usually, primary key columns are ID columns. For example, employee ID, customer ID, supplier ID etc. Mostly, the IDs are automatically generated by the system. Once a record is given an automatically generated ID, it could always be referred to with this ID. No two records will have the same ID. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.